Hey friends, it's Brendan here again, and in this video I want to talk about Squidoo a little bit more, because in part one of this Squidoo series, I kind of talked about your general strategy that you should go about when you want to create Squidoo lenses for rankings and profit and authority and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to go watch that again, I'll create a link below so you can go to that video. Make sure you watch that one for sure first. Uh, but for this video, I want to talk about, at the beginning anyways, your keyword criteria for Squidoo because some people were picking keywords that were just a little bit too difficult, especially for someone who's new to this sort of stuff. And trust me, Squidoo does work, and this strategy will work for you. You just need to be smart about it. So in this video, there's two... Basically, you need to get one must-get tool, which is free, and that's going to be SEO Quake. I'm going to tell you about that in a second. You need your brain and common sense. Uh, pretty difficult to succeed without those things. And optionally, you can get Squid Crafter, which will make your life easier in terms of making income, but that one is completely optional. The first one you should get, not just for Squidoo, but just in general, it's a program called SEO Quake. And what it does is when you go to Google in the search engines, you get this SEO, SEO Quake bar underneath each entry, and it'll give you information about that particular web page. So it will tell me the page rank, the amount of index pages that this domain has, the links to this page, uh, and the links to the domain. And this is very, very good information to have because when you're looking on a web page, uh, or if you're thinking about ranking a particular keyword term, you want to know how difficult your competition is, and you want to be able to do it instantly because it'll save you a bunch of time. And this tool is free, and it allows you to, at a glance, see just that. So this keyword, which we'd never want to go for in a million years, um, is very difficult because you can see a page rank 5, page rank 4, page rank 4, and basically 4s and 5s all the way down the page. So type in this keyword, SEO Quake, into Google and go to the SEO Quake website right here. And when you get here, you need to, it's with Google Chrome, so you will need to have the Google Chrome, Chrome browser, but that's not too difficult to get. And actually, Google Chrome's proven to be one of the fastest, if not the fastest, web browsers available right now. Way better than Internet Explorer and another, a lot of other options that you have. So you should really consider getting Google Chrome anyways. But in this instance, even if you just use it for SEO Quake, it'll be worth your while. So download Google Chrome and then search for SEO Quake and install SEO Quake. And that's what this icon, I don't know if you can see it with the, the screen capture video, but at the top near the address bar, there'll be an icon where you can either enable or disable SEO Quake. Uh, once you get it, you just enable it and then it'll give you this information. And I want to show you because I was creating a lens in my last video on the keyword best headphones under $200. And I want to tell you the criteria that caused me to pick that keyword. So the first thing you want to think about is how much traffic is your keyword going to get? Because if it doesn't get enough traffic, it's probably not going to be worthwhile pursuing for you. So if you Google AdWords keyword tool and you searched the keyword best headphones under $200, you would see that it gets 1,300 views per month on average for the exact, but if we switch to broad, and I, you know that I prefer exact, but broad tells you keywords that you could, or uh, it gives you the amount of traffic you could get if you get this exact keyword, but you also get keywords that are closely related. So I think it's important to imagine that if, if you rank really well for this keyword, then you're going to get a combination between the exact amount of searches and the broad amount of searches. So you won't just win for this one, you'll probably win for others as well, but you probably won't win for all of the related keywords. So keep that in mind that the amount of search terms that are going to be targeting your page is going to be somewhere between 1300 to 4000 for this keyword term. And I definitely request that you do the same due diligence process when you're considering a keyword for your Squiddy Lens. 
And I want to show you why, in terms of competition, now we know that we get enough traffic for this term, it's worth our while, especially since we will have buyers that will be searching for this term. Now I want to show you, through SEO Quake, why this is a reasonably decent term to go for. Because if you search for this keyword on Google, with SEO Quake attached, you notice that the page rank of these pages is next to non-existent. And the index pages is really high, so we know this is an authoritative site. But the fact that there is very little page rank means that they're not authority pages and they can be taken over. This one's page rank 5, but at a glance we can see although it's page rank 5, the title is the best headphones. So it's not targeting the best headphones under $200 at all. And I want to show you this example right here because there already is a lens on Squidoo called Best Headphones Under $200, and it's a page rank 2. And I think this is a cool indicator of Squidoo's value because the Squidoo homepage is a page rank 7, which means a lot of that page rank gets trickled down through its interlinking to its interior pages. So here's a page that got page rank that can pass over to your money site just through internal Google Squid just through internal Squidoo interlinking alone. So if you go to this page here, this lens on best headphones under $200, you can see that this lens is really nothing special. It does have a little bit of content, but it shows you that you can throw up something very similar. And there's not really that much great content here. I mean, it has some images, and there's some Amazon links. Uh, but it's not an overwhelmingly amazing page. And it's on the first page of Google. It's ranking through Squidoo for the keyword best headphones under $200 that we already know gets a decent amount of searches per month, is a buying keyword. There will be people searching to buy headphones that search this term. And it's a low competition keyword. So these are all things that you should keep in mind when you're picking keywords for your Squidoo lenses, for stuff that you want to rank and make money off of through Amazon and um, and how the kind of keyword because the keyword is one of the most important things you pick it's whether you get traffic or you don't uh, so this is an example of a decent keyword and um, this is proof right here on the first page of Google that it can work for you now I want to talk about Squid Crafter and whether Squid Crafter is right for you and I'll show you this application right here below. I believe that the Squid Crafter price as I speak right now is around $35. That could be frequent to change in the future, I'm not sure. But right now it's a pretty reasonable price. And what Squid Crafter allows you to do is search for products that you want to include on your lens straight into Amazon. So right into the Squid Crafter software, we're searching on Amazon. So if you know your products already that you want to include on your page, say I want to include the ATH M50, which I'm a huge fan of and which is under $200, then I can go to the ATH M50 page and all I need to do is click this add button in the Squid Crafter software. And what that will do for me is once I, if I go to my product list, you'll see by adding it, I've added it to my product list in the Squid Crafter software. So you just select the headphone items that you want to include, and I can just in generically search for headphones on Amazon, and they'll show me examples of some of the best-selling headphones. And I can just go in here and select all the headphones that have pretty decent reviews. So let's say that they have at least a four-star rating, and I can select all those headphones and add them. So as, as you can see with this demonstration, it's taken me very, very little time to add these into the software. And what Squid Crafter does that's brilliant in terms of a time saver is that it automatically formats your affiliate links and adds your affiliate links in once you install it into the software. So it literally takes you seconds to monetize your lens, which if you're building uh, lenses to your money site, that time is very, very valuable. And not only that, it's, it's very high converting the way that Squid Crafter formats them. So it'll save you a bunch of time and it'll also make you a bit more money 
that will pay for itself after you create a couple of Squidoo lenses. So let's select a couple more here and then I'll show you what you can do with the template. So here's another one we'll just add in there. Add. And I'll pick a couple more off of this page and then I'll show you the templates that come standard with Squid Crafter. So Sony MDR I know that this is a popular headphone that a lot of people choose to buy so I'll add that into the product list as well and I'll look for one more to add in there and I'll add in a Shure because I haven't had that brand added in yet. So that's added into the Squid Crafter software program. Now I'm in the product list with all the products that I selected on Amazon that are already formatted with my affiliate links intact and the Amazon images and everything and the description title and description. So now when I go to create my template I just go over to edit module. So once you've made it to the edit module part of the Squid Crafter software all you need to do is go to the top left of the program and select one of the templates and there's a ton of different templates to choose from some of them are really cool and depending on your niche you can find some really gold gems in here but for this video demonstration I'm just gonna focus on the basic templates the main three that people use and the two that I'm gonna to touch on are going to be the large image template and the small image template so with this large image template all you do is click the fill template button and it automatically formats the first image from the product list as well as the title of the product and then you just need to type in your product info here and it automatically includes the buy now button which you can select here and it'll have your affiliate link already attached for you now that one's pretty cool especially if you want to showcase one product in particular that you think is best for the Squidoo lens that you create but an even better option than that is to select the small image template if you want to provide some options for your visitors to your Squidoo lens of all the products that you think are the best. So in this lens that I'm creating, best headphones under $200, I want to say that, hey, the, here are six headphones that all are really good options for you that are under $200. And all you need to do is select the fill template button on the small image template and it automatically formats it for me so I have images of all those headphones with affiliate links that all correspond to the image and title of each headphone. And it was all I needed to do was search for them on Amazon, plug them into my product list, and then click on fill template. And Squid Crafter has done everything for me. So now when I want to take this into my Squiddy lens, all I need to do is press the copy code button and it's copied the code for me so that when I go over to Squidoo and I select a text box and I click on edit I just enter my code into the text module and once I press save it'll have formatted it for me inside my Squidoo lens for visitors to see and for visitors to click over to Amazon so it's really that simple guys. It's a very very cool program that if you use Squidoo, it's almost a must have because it will increase your profits and it makes your life a lot easier. So if you take a look at the links that are below this video, one of the links is a free download that has a list of Amazon niches. I recommend that you take a look through this list and find one of the niches that is interesting to you take a look at that niche and then take that niche and put it into the Google AdWords keyword tool and find a long tail keyword that you can build a Squidoo lens on and better yet find a few long tail keywords in that niche that you can build some Squidoo lenses on and I know there's a bunch of people that actually use Squidoo to make a fairly decent side income as well as to build very powerful links back to your niche sites so this is a pretty cool strategy for you guys to use. Um, take a look through here to try and find some value. After you find a niche, then make sure you use SEO Quake to see if your 
search engine terms that you select are competitive or not. This one that I've included in this video, the best headphones under $200, is not a very competitive keyword that you can rank on Google, and this proves it right here, that you can rank on Google with this keyword term just by creating a Squidoo lens. And I have no idea how much money this person makes from having this Squidoo lens, but this person's ranked through Squidoo's authority and has his or her own affiliate links inside the Squidoo lens. And if you want to increase your results even further and save yourself some time, then you can consider getting Squidcrafter to be able to create formats like this by selecting the products in a very short period of time. And this is actually one of the advantages of Squidoo is that you can include stuff like this because Google generally frowns on using too many affiliate links on niche sites, but because Squidoo has so much authority, they can get away with having a large number of affiliate links on content pages and not be penalized. If you notice the Squidoo lens from the guy that created the same on the same keyword as I'm interested in, he does have quite a few Amazon affiliate links in his Squidoo lens, which and he still manages to get a number one ranking. If you tried to use this many affiliate links on a niche website, you could find yourselves heavily penalized by Google. But Squidoo lenses, because of Squidoo's authority, can have this many affiliate links. So I highly recommend that you also take this strategy where you link to Amazon a reasonable amount of times because that's going to be the income source that you're going to get through these Squidoo lenses that you created. So that's the two-part series on Squidoo. Uh, I'd like to think that I've covered everything that I possibly need to for Squidoo because it's not really rocket science. It's basically just exploiting a good keyword phrase and then filling it with affiliate links and links back to your niche site. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, my email is Brendan Mace, my first and last name, at live.com. You can contact me there and ask me anything. I'm definitely available to help you if you have any questions. Uh, but that's it for now. I will be hitting you guys up in the future with more videos, so stay tuned. Thanks.